I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. The following contest is in a for the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Introducing the challenger from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bates is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bait has remarkable poise to go with the flow. It's really difficult to match this man's grappling skills. Or his mustache. He's got a beard. It actually has a beard, Byron. Right, but the mustache part is amazing. Guys, is it illegal to pull facial hair during a match? Mask it for a friend. No doubt about it, we are in for something special tonight. One of the greatest Lucha Libre stars around. We are about to see high flying exemplified. And introducing the challenger from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Rey Mysterio. A former world champion, WWE champion, Royal Rumble winner, Rey Mysterio has made a career out of stepping up. Introducing the champion, representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds. He is the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Dominic Mysterio. Corey, what do you think of the champ's chances here tonight? I love him. I'm not like everybody else, Cole. It seems like everybody's ready to write the champ's demise, but not me. Many are predicting a title change here tonight, but this man is looking to prove otherwise. see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. With the bell rung and no DQs in place, we're about to see just how much hostility these competitors have for each other. I feel like you have to have especially high disdain for your opponent to agree to a no disqualification match. Yep, the time for sportsmanship is over now. It's all about pain and destruction. Big overhand. On the button with a low drop kick. A running hurricane Rana. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Arm ringer applied. Oh my goodness, that might have snapped a finger. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. A no DQ stipulation means you have to throw your regular playbook out the window. It's not gonna... Oh, oh no! Crash! 
machine hard onto the floor. Tempted fate and paid dearly for it. That haphazard approach definitely proved costly. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Dominic Mysterio with a tilt the world DDT. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. This is just brute power. What a German suplex. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Dominic stepping up to the top of the top rope. Oh, God. Turning the tables there. Here comes the setup. Double DDT. I like this strategy. Find an ally, clean house together, and settle it between the two of you at the end. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. They'll take things into the ring. Oh, good night. Sorry. The Obero Hurricane Rada. Nice. Truck kick with precision. Ray's veteran instincts on display. Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Tyler Bay with all the confidence of a young man and none of the intelligence. Stay on him, kid. The third of the three amigos. Oh, that can shatter a jump. Headed to the top rope. Dominic Mysterio with a frog splash. A championship level move. Eliminated. Ray Mysterio Ray is out of here. Taking it to the shoulder. Oh, he fights bait back. Ooh, that kick will stop me in your tracks. Oh, bait was ready for that. Able to elude it. Leg breaker. A bad place to be for the challenger. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nose. Oh! What impact! Double kick finds the spot! An unrelenting assault being brought to bait. We're seeing a very decisive Dominic right now. Drop kick to the face! He has a task at hand but prefers to be showboating right now. Able to give him the slip. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Whatever you can do, I can do better. Counters on top of it. Tyler Bate looking to lock it in. Billy Goats curse. And you imagine what it would do to his confidence if he tapped out right here? Oh, what a great escape. Oh, catapulting down on the opponent. Momentum has completely shifted to Dominic. Bate has to find an opening and respond. He returns to the ring. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Once more, setting it up. Frog splash. Now that is why they're the champ. Two count. He kicks out somehow. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Brought in the hard way. To a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's going to find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? I am in shock. What's it going to take to keep this guy down? Suplex delivered. Tyler Bain in a state of distress. Dominic is really remaining the aggressor here. Oh, Bate was ready for that. Able to get out of the way. Shot. Every maneuver being returned. Bate with a kick to the gut, double under him. Tyler Driver, 97. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Cover! No, no, they kicked out. The champion kicked out. What a display of stamina. The champ showing they are truly worthy of this title. But things might only get harder from here. And you can sense the desperation mounting as that last move couldn't finish things. Scouted. Shot to the chest. This building is rocking right now. 
Can you blame him? done. Dominic Mysterio has his opponent in place for the 619. On the outside, Big Boy Frog Splash. But champions need to finish the job. And Dominic Mysterio can still hold the title above the competition. I'm still trying to process all the action that we saw there in the triple threat match. This recap should help. Here is your winner, and still WWE Cruiserweight Champion, Mysterio. That's your winner, folks, outlasting all other superstars in this match. Triple threat matches tend to live up to the hype, and this one was no different, you guys. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 403 pounds, Angel and Umberto, the Lethal Lovers, Los Lotharios. The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. I got a feeling this match is going to be too sweet. You should never do that again, because these two are Japanese legends continuing a legacy in WWE. And their opponents at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. Already cemented their legacy as one of the greatest tag teams in the world. You're right, Cole, and that's why the tag team division has been on notice since their return. You can see the look of intensity on their faces already. The fun and games are over. I am not envious of their opponents at all. They're in store for an old-fashioned butt-whooping, guys. And, Corey, I know you can feel a collective gasp from the ladies around the arena for Los... Lotharios. Well, if looks could kill, these guys would have a rap sheet a mile long. And in the ring, they're just as deadly. Technique as sharp as Umberto's dimples. I'm glad one of us said it, Corey, but I'll be damned if it was going to be me. They are a well-oiled machine that can run a seminar in tag team wrestling. They certainly pose a real threat to their competition, who might have a difficult time matching their chemistry. Ooh, rock kick 
right to the knee. Boom! Oh, what an uppercut. Jarring. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Oh, what a knee lift. He's lost some of his win now. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, ring it into a big boot. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. He made the tag. Cooking with gas now. Slam. And into the count. Gets the shoulder up after one. That's still a quick kick out at this point. He wants even more out of his opponent. Ooh. Lobbing blows. Oh, the world's strongest flag. Off into the pin. Two. He thought he had it. to land. Power slam! Goes into the pin. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Oh man, a bruising use of their body. It's all Luke right now. Luke is backing up every word right now. Big time shoulder block with a corkscrew. Ran right through that close wow. line. Good God, man. Jeez Louise. He's struggling a bit here. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Side slam. Ooh. Oh, turned it into a rocking hit. A counter answered by another counter series of reversals. Oh, what a close line. Getting him into the corner. The boot of boom got him. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Up the turnbuckles. What's he gonna do? Great reversal. Face first off the knee. Uh-oh. German suplex released. Carl wards that attack off. Ooh. Oh, did you hear the sound that made? And now thrown back into the ring. Oh, man. Across the top rope, all the way to the floor. Into the corner. This can't be... Tag made the OC. Uh-oh, perhaps looking to put an end to this with the magic killer. Anderson could seal things up. Is it enough? The cover! <laughs> and a victory! A win! And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle.
Here are your winners, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows, the OC. And Luke Gallows helps lead the team to victory. That wasn't just a win, Cole. That was a top-level tag team performance. Take it from a former NXT tag champ. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. Well, this man is six foot three, 275 pounds of pure power. Perhaps the strongest man in WWE. We've seen it so many times when that bell rings, Bobby Lashley flips a switch and on display, we witness his frightening intensity. I mean, frightening power as well, Byron. Everything about Bobby Lashley is just intimidating. This guy is the real deal. been a long time coming to see these men compete for the United States title. These guys have been itching to compete for this championship. The moment that bell rings, the roof is going to come off this place. We all know Lashley's physique is that which has been sculpted from Mount Olympus itself. This guy won't win a pose down against the Almighty. Do you think there's a chance he can win a fight? Introducing the challenger from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. And his opponent from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 224 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Mark one of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking the United States Championship
The United States Championship has a tremendous amount of history dating back Let to... Let me stop you, Cole. We know the history. Tonight, this match is about the future. The United States Champion isn't focused on how he won it. He's focused on keeping it. As much as I want to, I can't argue with that, Corey. Knife edge chop! Get ready, gentlemen, for a sight to behold. The old Panama Sunrise! Just a flagrant display of aggression to do something like that. Doesn't bode well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Enough already. From the outside, look out! Whoa! And a human being. Here's the pin, title on the line! Fending off a two count there. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Ooh, clothesline deliver. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Oh, launching himself from cover! Two! Kick out, close to three. He got close there, it could be do or die time. Drop kick. Beautiful. Lashley's losing any kind of advantage here. I like what we're seeing. Blitzing Lashley with hard-hitting offense. Not trying to drag this match out. Connecting on the DDT. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? And the champ does not end it. Somehow, some way. He is a sight to behold. Take a picture while you can, everyone. Oh, look at that. Power bomb to the floor. What an elbow drop. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. He just keeps dealing out punishment with every move. But Lashley always has the power to fight back in this. What a DDT. Mm, good night. The challenger is not in a great place. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. And now gets tossed into the ring. Climbing up to the top now. He's reeling, slowly getting up. To the sky. DDT with diving delivery. Amazing. Cover. Two breaks the count. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. Power slam. Incoming. Crash landing. Power bomb. He's one step ahead there. Kick gets caught. Great job refocusing to reverse that. Climbing up top, he's got big plans. Dodges. Whoa! Looking to take flight here. I think we know what's coming next. Taking flight. Oh, and he doesn't connect. Oh, ouch. Attack from Bobby Lashley. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, the physicality on display there. Unbelievable. Tripling attack on the knee. Bobby Lashley dominating. Bobby's just too massive to maintain. He's not going to be able to pull this off, is he? Oh, is he? Yeah! Power bomb. The champ getting put to the test here. Oh, God. Lashley caught by surprise. Yeah, he's able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. 
He's just taking a moment to simply remind everyone why he's simply the best. Ooh, man. Yeah. Oh, what a counter. And he slides him back to the mat. Oh, close line. Looking for the victory! Two count and a kick out at two! How does anyone kick out at this point? Oh! Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next! Oh, a huge miss there! And he's able to counter! Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion, Mark Magna. A surprisingly fast victory here tonight. There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you got to be on your toes at all times. And here come three women looking to take control. Perhaps the most dominant women's faction in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Bailey, Dakota Kai, and Io Sky. Damage control. For anybody doubting Bailey's qualifications as a role model, Look at what she has done with damage control. Io Sky, Dakota Kai, multiple time women's tag team champions. Look, there's no doubt Bailey has been a help for Dakota and Io, but she's also used them as shields and basically as backup to do her dirty work. Oh, relax, Saxton. They're simply giving their role model the respect she deserves. Quite simply, nobody can stop damage control. Make way for Larray and Hartwell. I think you meant make way, as in the way, Cole. And their opponents, Kenneth Larray and Andy Hartwell. The way! I gotta give respect where respect is deserved when it comes to Indy Hartwell and Candice Larray. A great mix of strength with Hartwell, technical skill of Larray, a team that truly some would say you can't stop.
Loray and Hartwell have gelled into a truly amazing team, always on the same page. That kind of teamwork comes with following the way. Teams in their respective corners. We're going to get a chance to see Dakota Kai and Io Sky. And in terms of opponents, they're up for quite the task tonight, as you can see. Candice LeRae and Indy Hartwell. Both sides in this match know that tag team competition is a very specific, very unique art form. We're going to see just who will be the better team here tonight. Unbelievable athleticism. Agility like that is what can set you apart from the rest of the locker room. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Come on, big back body drop. It's got to be demoralizing when you're the combatant on the wrong side of the double team. Maybe you want to rework the game plan about now. Look at this, going counter for counter. Takedown. Oh, the helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Things taking a turn for her now. Nice counter from Indy. Jumping neck breaker. Out. What a drop kick. Turns it around. Sole the foot meets the stomach. Short clothesline hits its mark. in the corner. Ooh, she responds with a counter. Quick exchange of counters there. A stalemate of counters. Oh, look at her cripple the leg. She gets the tag. Oh, strong impact. Evading offense. And Eo's offense gets fought off. A drop kick from the middle row. Nicely done. <laughs> Indy Hartwell attacking the arm. Hammerlock DDT. Into the pin attempt. Nasty kick. She might be in some trouble now. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. I don't know if the risk was worth it. Countered it just in time. Boom! And she's stunned in the corner. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Connected on that. This match continues on. My goodness, did you hear that chop? To the face. Had that one telegraphed right across the face. She's feeling the hurt here. Ooh, that knee knocking the wind out of her. She avoids the attack completely. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Elbow drop. Ooh. EO able to fend her off. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Close line! Attacks from the arsenal of Hartwell. Indy Hartwell is holding nothing back. Traps the arm into the hammerlock. Hammerlock DDT!
Here we go again. Indy oh, with a sidewalk slam. Indy is ending this fight right there. Two. No, she kicks out. She kicks out. EO defiant as ever with that kick out. No idea if that was just on instinct or what, but she refused to stay down there. And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? We're seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. Elbow smash! Dakota wards off the attack. These two having an answer for everything. Unbelievable athleticism. Ooh. Strikes with a kick. Ooh. Oh, things are looking dire for Dakota Kai. Yeah, things are not looking up for her right now. Toss down. Byron, I love this move. This is one of my all-time favorites. The Wicked Stepsister. Can you believe it? Candice LeRae. Boom! Oh, with the stomp. Across the top rope. What a hot shot. Looking wobbly in the corner. Ooh, look at her answering back. Oh, and that buys some time. Nasty, jarring shot, and there's more to come. Uh oh. Open it, swinging neck breaker. Dakota can't come back from that. For the win. Two. And a win here tonight. That'll change your career. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Here are your winners. Candice LeRae and Andy Hartwell, the way! And a big time victory for this tag team here tonight. Two minds working as one in the ring to create magic. It is a beautiful thing to witness, gentlemen. Both these teams trying to decide which competitor is going to start for their respective team. I don't think this is going to go well. well this duo is certainly having trouble getting on the same page. And Okay, there we go. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. Well, if these two can't get on the same page, there is no chance of success. Bell sounds, and let's see if any sort of begrudging respect comes out of this one after the display we just saw. Who are we to judge strategy, Cole? If it works, it works. And judging by the reaction, it worked. So what exactly is there to respect here? And that holds Cody back. Avoiding contact. Ooh, kick right to the gut. Answering back. Ooh, front thrust. Ooh. Ooh, sharp kick. Running Bulldog. Vicious right forearm. Slam! That was all sorts of nasty. You have to be in peak physical condition to pull off a move with that much weight behind it. Chad Gable not looking so good. Yeah, he might want to tag out just to have the fresher teammate in right now. Not that he can't fend for himself right now. Power slam. Penny predicament, shoulders down. He thought he could get this thing finished fast. Boom! <laughs> An impressive sequence from Cody. Yeah, Cody Rhodes is clearly in control. Ooh, bro thrust! Ooh. 
Uh oh, double underhook. This is going to be nasty. Butterfly pile drive. makes the cover. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. I think this match still has a ways to go. Uh oh. Elbow drop. Oh man, now Chad looks to be busted open. Implanted by the DDT. Just hot shot it to the outside. RVD just getting knocked around. RVD has to trust his instincts at this point. Stirring back to his feet, but he might not know where he is. Uncorked the clothesline to deny that maneuver. You can just sense the animosity in the ring right now. This rivalry has really heated up. I heard these superstars avoid each other like the plague outside the ring. Yeah, unless they got a chance to duke it out, they don't want to be anywhere near each other. And tag! He's in now! Finally! A powerful suplex toss! Whoa. Placing them into the corner. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. Huge toss. Now he's been put on the defensive. Van Dam is out of. Oh my gosh! Took him out at the knee. Uh oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power. RVD fires back. Great athleticism. RVD is getting in the zone now. He's itching for some competition here. And some effective offense with that one. Yeah, on the apron. This is this is getting out of hand. Don't do this! All the way to the outside. Brought in the hard way. Bam! Now watch the precision with this strike. Oof! Boom, what a kick. Boom! Oh, what a kick. Ah, oh, gets cracked by the overhand. Interceptor! Scattered and met with a back elbow. On the outside! Good grief! He may be in a bad way here. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? And we just saw some serious offense. Boom! A oh, kick! Nasty kick. Oh, what a kick! Ooh, skull rattling. A familiar, gruesome sight on the face of the American Nightmare. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Big punch finds its mark. Oh my God, a close line. Tags him in. Oof. He knew. Cody Rhodes hooks him up. Cody's oh, oh, put a lot of competitors out with that. That's gotta be it. Two and a kick out. No one saw that coming. RBD possessing a hardcore amount of tenacity right there. Disbelief on the face of the American nightmare. What's he gonna have to do to put this away? I've gotta say the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. He deflects it right back. Kick to the gut. The setup. Up and... Full reversal catches RVD. Braun Breaker has his target acquired. This could end it all. Spear! Gets out of it with a well-placed knee to the face. With the counter. And a hearty shoosh. 
from Mr. 4.0. There's no coming back from that, guys. Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. Ron Breaker setting him up for the military press. The military press into the power slam. And that can keep RBD down. Nice counter from Van Damme. To the arm. There's some power behind that punch. The world to these superstars have any taken flight body splash cover two count and picks up a monumental victory here's another look at some of the previous action giving their fans their money's worth and more Cody Rhodes and Braun Breaker. It's never easy dealing with that sort of quarreling, but the victory remained in sight. In the WWE, you can never lose sight of the victory, Saxton. That resiliency is something that ensures your legacy. Hopefully this victory will help them bury the hatchet and look towards the future. <laughs> Just a different feeling in the air when WWE's resident superhero makes his entrance. Well, up to this point, Ricochet has seen plenty of success here in WWE. Won titles with his unbelievable agility. It's like Ricochet found the options menu for life and turned off the gravity option. Yeah, no camera tricks, no hidden wires. Ricochet, he's the real deal. Here comes the monster of all monsters. Braun Strowman has a mean streak a mile long. Yeah, and a proven history of not playing well with others. Impressive physical ability. One of the biggest and baddest to ever step foot in WWE.
Imperium has arrived. A united group with one unwavering mission to prove that the mat is sacred. It's amazing, guys. Everything about Imperium runs like clockwork. Yeah. yeah, they walk in lockstep, exhibit teamwork. There are zero holes in the game of Imperium. And it's a testament to their mission statement. The mat is sacred. We are moments away from seeing Imperium's mission statement in action. And that's unfortunate for anyone else in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the World Tag Team Championship! Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 575 pounds, Ricochet and Braun Strowman! And their opponents at a combined weight of 440 pounds. They are the World Tag Team Champions Ludwig Kaiser and Giovanni Vinci. Imperia! One of these teams is going to have to work in unison from bell to bell if they want those tag team titles. And the bell is rung, getting this tag match started. When you think of tag teams that are itching to make an impact on tonight's event, you don't have to look any further than these two. Two teams with a desire to steal the show. Ludwig was ready for that. Nicely done. He moved, but can he capitalize? Right into that turnbuckle. Oh, talk about the knee. Lands the elbow. Oh, bomb kick connects. Knife edge chop. The challenger's looking shaken. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, the knee. Lights out. And that stops whatever Kaiser intended. Back and forth from these competitors. Able to sidestep. Ooh. The kick takes their opponent down. Holy moly. Lands on their feet. I thought for sure he was done. Firm control. Big boot! Oh man, kick to the face. The switch here to Braun Strowman. Reaches his partner for the tag. Oh man! Oh, perfect kick. Carefully placed stop to the arm. Good overhand shot. 
Roman just such a monstrous sight to behold. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Oh, look at the power. Not finished yet. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power bomb. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, he's got him up high. The follow-away slam. One strong attack after another. Quick sidestep by Vinci. Oh, what a strike to the back. Miss Molly. Oof, ruthless striking. The challenger eating up some damage. He was waiting for him to make his move. Showing some extra scouting, knowing how to answer a counter with a counter of your own. <laughs> oh, what a punch. Vinci. A display of dominance, vertical suplex into a powerbomb. Down the apron! The hardest part of the ring. Vinci! Spinning sit-out powerbomb! Another one bites the dust to the chair. To kick out, what strength! Simply refusing to let this opportunity slip away. And who knows if there'll be another shot? Yet you can't give up now. The next big move might end this. The question is, who has the stamina left to pull it out? Real European uppercut. And tag. He did it. Let's go! Close line! The challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Vicious contact. Ooh! And set right into the corner. Knife edge chop! Tag is made. Partner headed up to the ropes. Hoisted into the power bomb. Uppercut into the power bomb. The champ passes one in hand now. Cover. Two. No championship match continues. That's really as close as it gets. Expected that one. O'Connor. You have to think these competitors expected this to be a difficult challenge. Even so, at this stage, things just get more and more dangerous. Uh-oh. Athletic dodge from Ricochet. Trying to put this thing away. Shoulders down, roll up. And the champs retain. Now let's get another look at some of the high points of that one. Here are your winners, and still World Tag Team Champions, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. Tag team excellence in its purest form. You simply love to see it. And I hope we see these guys tagging again real soon.
Look at the size of this man. Seven foot three inches tall, 400 pounds. The true colossus of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by MVP from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omas! A true dominant giant. No kidding. I got a neck ache just looking up at him. Omas's stature alone fills his opponents with fear. I feel fear in my soul. I'm not, I'm not even in the ring with the guy. Gentlemen, just take a look at the size of this behemoth. It is a scary, frightening sight looking up at a man the size of Omas. And his opponent, accompanied by Luke Gallows, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. A man who always considers himself main event material, an uncrowned champion. He wants to show exactly why here tonight.
The Judgment Day is here. And the WWE Universe will feel their wrath. The following is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds. Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day. Well, the frightening thing about the Judgment Day is that their main goal seems to be spreading fear throughout WWE. Make no mistake, the Judgment Day are all about wins and championships, but the psychological warfare they wage will keep this group atop WWE. The Prince, the Eradicator, and the Punishment. The Judgment Day has arrived and the WWE Universe is not prepared for their wrath. Well, I sure hope their opponents are. And their opponents at a combined weight of 458 pounds. Butch and Ridge Holland, the brawling brutes. Gentlemen, this has all the makings of an all-time classic match, and I fully expect it to deliver on that promise. And it's time for some classic tag team action here with Finn Balor and Damian Priest. And they'll have their work cooperating cut out for them here, dealing with Butch and Ridge Holland. The trust is key to victory in a match like this. If you don't have a tag partner you can rely on, you might as well pack it in now. Saw it coming and got out of there. What a forearm. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Up on the top row. As this part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go. Superplex. That move on its own will knock the wind out of you, but from that height, it'll knock the earth and fire out of you, too. Look out. Somersault plancha to the floor. That is the attitude of a daredevil, the ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. He's been placed in the corner now. Whoa, not quite yet. Caught square by the Haymaker. Oh, roundhouse kick. He's tagging out. Tagged in. Up they go. That'll jam your tailbone. Oh, oh. Look at this. What a headbutt. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Oh! Oh, strong impact! This is gonna be stiff. Back drop suplex. Can he score the pin? Oh, uh, maybe. A kick out at the last possible moment. If the ref was only in better position, that would have been three. Oh, a double knee face buster. And Balor's attack gets cut off, reciprocating the initial reversal. Oh, oh 1916. Oh, across the top rope. He's in a little bit of trouble now. 
This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? Priest wants to finish this one. This will do it. Broken arrow. Damian varying his attention away from the match. Not the best idea. Butch was waiting for it. Quick thinking pays off. Boom, Butch with a timely counter. Ooh, and the cover for the win. This is it. And he stops the count for his partner. And out of the ring he goes. There was some power behind that punch. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock. So. Ooh, that hurt. That'll ring your bell. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Oh, torturous knee. You can't take much more of this. Yeah, not looking good at all. Oh, impact to the stomach. Taking flight! Body splash! That's gonna be it! Two breaks the count! There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Able to sidestep it. Up and around. Tilt the world slam. And that definitely made solid impact. And he has an answer for Priest. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. These two having an answer for everything. Reversal on top of reversal. Damian Priest. I see a cut too on Butch after that. Priest was right on target. Looking for the victory. Oh my. Now he's been put on the defensive. Everyone is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. A rope step! Oh, the high risk doesn't pay off! You have daring, and you have stupid. That was stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Ooh! Finn Balor tags in. What a counter. Down with a sling blade. Basement drop kick. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. This is where Finn Balor is at home. Is there any air left in Butch? Two. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Tag teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. Here are your winners, Finn Balor and Damian Priest. The Judgment Day. And Finn Balor is the one to put this one away for the team. This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance tonight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. It's Miz and Mrs.
these two are such a wonderful couple because they have so much in common. Title reigns, reality television success, being beautiful. Here's another thing they have in common, Corey. They won't shut up about it all. Why would you shut up about that? These two even tag together at WrestleMania. It's Ugh. truly a beautiful love story. I wish you'd shut up about it. Doomsday has arrived. It was only a matter of time. Tick tock. And gentlemen, I'm afraid time has just run out for the entire WWE locker room. The time has come to fall and pray. Introducing the challenger from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, The Miz! And his opponent from Sin City, weighing in at 265 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Karrion You win this title, you are primed for big things. Love him or hate him, The Miz has earned his place here in WWE. And found plenty of awesome fame and fortune along the way. True, and tonight he's eager to show everyone just how awesome he is inside the ring. But he's taken on an incredibly driven Karrion Cross, The superstar who seems to be fueled by an endless supply of extreme rage and an insatiable appetite for destruction. This man is not your average competitor. Well spoken, Saxton. Cross is an absolute terror in the ring who doesn't put any limits on his attacks or his ambitions. He'll stop at nothing to get what he wants. And tonight, he wants to destroy. The raw strength of Karrion Cross is truly impressive. How do you deal with that as his opponent? When you're taking on a powerhouse like Cross, you need to be patient. 
If you charge him head on, he'll just rip you apart. So bide your time and wait for him to make a mistake. Then, once you have your opening, you go in for that big attack. The challenger's looking shaken. Beautiful suplex. Tough position to be caught in here. Working over the body there. Drawing dangerously close to a count out here. The fellaway slam. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. He's certainly lining him up, but he's wasting too much time. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Oof! Where's the haymaker? Ooh! He skirts around it. Neck breaker! Good timing with that reversal. The roundhouse connects. Oh my god, what a forearm! Look at job. A bad place to be for the challenger. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Unpacks a well-placed punch. Setting it up. Boom! Carrying cross, just toying with the crowd now, too. Striking at will. Close line to the back of the neck. Got went low with a drop kick to the knee. Oh, the WWE Universe is in for a treat. The world famous it kicks from the A-lister. Even I got to admit, the Miz is looking pretty awesome. Uh, slow down. It's still too late for you to hop on the bandwagon, Saxton. Cross fires back. Miz telegraphing that one. Counter upon counter. Great minds thinking alike. Tuesday Saito. Cross held nothing back on that. Going all out to bring on massive destruction. Cross's opponent's night about to go from bad to worse. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. And did you hear the impact of that? Close line to the back of the neck. Oh. The Miz about to craft an epic finale. for that one. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Oh, close line. Good defense. Right on the Patella. With a championship on the line. Yeah, no. He doesn't get the three. What a match. the abdomen gets them out of that. Looking for a neck breaker here. No! Forearm to the base of the skull. Can it be? Will the rain continue? on his head. Boom! All the way to the outside. Oh, that can Ah, there's the backbreaker. Neckbreaker. 
we are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. No! A slam! Alabama style. He manages to escape it. Set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, ouch! Miz gets out of the way. Next breaker excellently executed. Some hard offense landing on the champ. You can tell the Miz was calculating that attack for a while. Kick to the abdomen. Mat slam with some attitude. Oh, and then the chest as well. He's got him by the leg. Oh, that hurt. Things went from bad to worse. <laughs> Improving a bit slippery for them there. And what a maneuver we just saw there. Momentum has shifted towards the Miz. This is patience paying off. Cross made a mistake and now has to suffer the consequences. He's taking this to the floor now. Reversal! What a counter! And Cross is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Good chance for Cross to gain his wits about him. Listen to this place. It's a the decibel level in here right now is breaking glass. These fans are on fire. Ooh. Cross menacing the competition, playing mind games. Damn. Looking for a neck breaker here. No! Forearm to the base of the skull. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Cross's opponent's night about to go from bad to worse. Carrion with the cross jacket submission. The Miz! What is the Miz gonna do? He gives up! It's over! That's it! The champ stays the champ! Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Champion, Karrion Cross. That was a difficult win. Well past the limit, I'd say.